In this segment, I want to look at polynomial inequalities. And we're going to start by just looking at a function f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 5. I know that's a parabola because it's an x squared and it opens upward because it's positive. If I were to factor this, I would find that um, the zeros are negative 5 and 1. So I've got those marked on my graph. And the first question is f of x equals 0. What are the zeros? What are the x's that make f of x y equal to 0? Well, we know that's the negative 5 and 1. What instead, if they ask, what is f of x less than 0? What, what values of x would make that true? Well, the y's then I want to be negative. Those are down here. That's, I'm looking for where the graph is below the x-axis. And I'm looking for the x's that make that happen. The x's that make it fall below the x-axis are between the negative 5 up to this 1. And that would be the interval negative 5 to 1 with parentheses because we don't want to include those endpoints. It's a strict inequality. The last question then says f of x is greater than or equal to 0. What x's make that true? Well, here we're looking for our y to be greater than or equal to 0. y is greater than 0 when it's above the x-axis. Okay, and equal to zero when it's on the x-axis. So the sections of my picture that are up here and up here, those are the two I'm interested in. What x intervals will give me that? Well, this back section, which is from negative infinity up to the negative five, and note that I put a bracket because I want to include that. Union, we have more, starting from this x1 up to positive infinity, we would also have uh, f of x or our y positive. All right, let's take a look at another example. This time we're not actually even given the function, we're just given a picture. But that's okay, we can, we can work with that. If they have this graph here and I've labeled my zeros accordingly, negative 1, 1, and 4, and they want to know where is f of x less than or equal to 0. So I want to know where are my y's below or on the x-axis. I put or on because the or equals. Okay, well, this back section here, I'm going to have negative y's. Here I have positive y's. I don't want that. Here I'm going to have negative y's along this section. Okay, so I'm going to want that. But no, I have positive y's over here. So the sections we want are negative infinity up to negative 1, including it because of the or equals. Union 1 to 4, again, including those endpoints. All right, what about this one? If f of x is to be greater than 0, and this is our picture with zeros at negative 4, negative 1, 1, and 3. Well, because I have a greater than, I want it this time to be above. Well, there's only these two little humps here, and that's this section from negative 4 to negative 1, and 1 to 3, this little section here. This time we use parentheses and not brackets because we're not including, it's not an or equals to.